presence. And we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to be here together as a tribe, to be able to worship you, to be able to say thank you. So we say, let's worship together as a tribe. And welcome for those of you that are online. You're part of the Tick Tribe family. And we ask you also to worship with us the presence of the Most High. And we say, we thank you, Father God. We bless your name. We bless your holy name. You are holy to be praised. We say, have it your way today, Father God. Have it your way today, Lord. Have it your way in this house, Lord. Open up our hearts today. Open up our hearts today so we can receive your word. So we can enjoy your presence, Lord. So let's surrender. Let's surrender to his presence. It is your will that we want, Father God. It is your will that we want, Father God. We thank you, King Jesus, for the sacrifice that you did on the cross. And we thank you. And we say today, yesterday, and tomorrow, every day, have it your way in our lives, Lord. Because you're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. And we say, and we say that we surrender. We surrender to you, Father God. Have it your way today in this house. Have it your way, Father God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Good morning, Holy Spirit. We want to give you honor. We want to glorify your name. Thank you. You're welcome. You rule and reign in this place. I want to read from Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as a Christ Jesus. Who is being very mature? God did not consider equality with God. Sometimes to be used to his own advantage. Seven. Rather, he made himself nothing by talking to very nature of a servant. I be found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself be, by become obedient to death, even there on the cross. At this moment, Holy Spirit will want to ask you for obedience. Have your way in this place. Holy Spirit, saturate this place with your Holy Spirit. You rule and reign. You welcome. Welcome, Holy Spirit. You send fire to this place. Having your way in this place. Having your way in this place. You lead us. You lead us. You guide us. We need your help. You continue giving revelation. Speak to our heart. You speak to our soul. Holy Spirit, without you, we are nobody. Have your way. Touch everybody, touch, 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 touch. Consume you, consume us with a fire, fire, fire. We need fire, we need fire. Renew our mind, renew our soul, renew our spirit. Have it your way, have it your, have it your way. We surrender our heart, our will, our future. Everything is belong to you. Have it your way, have your way. Rule and reign, do whatever you have to do. Change our heart. Change our spirit. We need you. Give you wisdom. Give you revelation. Today is the day. I say yes to God. The first yes. He was the first yes. But I do say yes. The second yes. Have your way. Have your way. Fire. 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 Burn us. Burn us. Burn us. Burn us. Burn us. Burn us. Holy Spirit. Thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for allowing the safe journey to gather your sons and daughters here to worship your name, Father God, to praise your name, Father God. We lift your name up high with our hands and our hearts held high in the sky, Father God. Holy Spirit, continue to lead and guide us. Father God, continue to rule and reign in our lives, Father God. Change the hearts, change the minds, and change the, the souls of the lost, the confused, and the misled, Father God. Father God, we submit to your will, Father God. We continue and want to walk in your obedience, to walk in fear of you, Father God. Holy Spirit, 
Burn in this place, Father God. Burn in this place. Bring fire down this place so we burn for you, Father God. It's not about what we want, but about everything that we do for you, Father God. What can we do for you, Father God? I said, it's not about us. We need to get out of our selfish ways and to walk in the obedience of the Lord. We thank you for everything that you do for us, Father God, and everything that you continue to do, everything that you continue to pour out for us, Father God, for our family, for our loved ones, for our friends, Father God. We give you thanks. We give you honor and praise for all that you do. In your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's name, amen. amen. We say, Lord, with our whole heart and with our whole life, we will worship the Lord. We will worship the Lord. We will worship God, you, you, Yahweh. With my whole heart, with my whole life, I will bow down before my God. for our failures and find his amazing grace and help in time of need and an appropriate breath blessing coming just at the right moment. Lord, we thank you for your amazing grace and we thank you for your mercy. And Lord, bring the fire and burn the sin. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. We worship. We worship. 
it says, The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing of the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation. This is the generation that seek thee, that seek thy face, O Jacob. This is the generation of them that seek him and seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Who is the King of glory? Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. your emotions and your intellect today. We come against those tired spirits. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So stand and give him praise this morning, for the King of glory is here. So lift him up, everlasting doors, for the King of glory shall come in. We thank you, Lord. You are the King today. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for moving amongst us, God. We thank you, God, that you would touch every that come through this door today. But we give you the praise. You are the king. You are the everlasting king. You are the mighty king. You are the bread of life today. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are the good shepherd today. You are Jehovah Rapha today. You are the one that's going to turn the bitter waters into sweetness today. And we give you the glory. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. We worship I am. 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 It's who you reveal yourself to. Hold the righteous one. You say, I am, I am, I am, I am who I say I am. I'll do what I say I'll do. Cause he's God. Cause he's Yahweh. Cause he's King over. And in your word in Hebrews, you say that we can approach you in boldness because our conscience has been made clean. So we're calling out to the worshipers, to those with clean conscience, to those who have clean spirit. And we're saying, begin to come boldly before the king of the throne. We say, Lord, we're calling out to the worshipers to the worshipers those that jesus said will worship me in spirit and in truth he doesn't say that you'll worship me in yourself we're calling out to worshipers with clean conscience and we're saying that he is the lord and that he is god and he's yahweh you are i am you are i am you are the Lord King your God in all of God's power and glory he loves us so and his word is true and his word says 
in Ephesians 3, 18, 19. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ. Though it is too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. God, how great is it that you love us so much we can't even begin to understand. What love is that for a group that does not deserve it? But you love us anyway, Father. Father, you let us come boldly to you because you love us, Father. Father, I ask that you open all of us up, Lord, that we express our love back to you in a new way, that we do a worship in a new way, that we have a boldness to step up and to say, we have a boldness to raise your name, Father, that we have a boldness that we can say, yes, I am a child of God, and no, I am not afraid, I am not ashamed, I will not be stopped worshiping my Father, in Jesus' name. And we say thank you, Lord, because we are free indeed because of that sacrifice that Jesus did at the cross. And we want to say, thank you, Lord, because you strengthened us. Thank you, Lord, because in you we find rest. Thank you, Lord, because you take care of all our needs. Thank you, Lord, because you answer all our prayers. Thank you, Lord, because through us, through your spirit is working through us. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Because you have promised us to be with you, to be with us. Thank you, Lord. Because in you we have rest. Thank you, Lord. Because there's freedom in you. There's nothing else but to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you did on the cross. It is an honor and a privilege to even to say your name. Thank you for allowing us to be in your presence. Because being in your presence is priceless. It is priceless. We enjoy your presence, Heavenly Father. There is peace in your presence. There is joy in your presence, Lord. We give all our cares to you. Yahweh, our Father, Yahweh, we thank you for your unquenchable love. We thank you because even though we were sinners, you sent Jesus to the cross to die for us. So we should not take his day for granted. Every day that we live, every day that we wake up, we should not take his name for granted because he gave it all. He gave it all. He gave it all for us. He gave it all for us. You gave it all for us. And we praise you. And we worship your holy name. And we will scream your name in every, at the end of every mountain. And at the end of the earth, we will say, we follow Jesus. With my whole heart, with my whole life, I will bow down before my God. With my whole heart, with my whole life, I will bow down before my God. With my whole heart, with my whole life, I will bow down before my God. 
deliverer, the great deliverer of grace, Father God, a great deliverer of mercy, a great deliverer of atmosphere, an atmosphere of your Holy Spirit that we may walk in this world with, Father God, and show to everybody else, Father God, let your spirit expand through us, Father God, let us do your will in this world today, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. best gift to worship him is the best gift to say his name to feel his arms around us to feel that love to feel his grace his mercy to have the honor of him calling us his children, his servants. What an honor. What an honor. You give us every day a chance to wake up and to say your name. To speak your name. To tell the mountains, be moved in the name of Jesus. To pray for our loved ones. To fellowship, to have a relationship with one another. To have eternal life. That is an honor and a privilege. And in this house, your name is not taken for granted. In this house, we worship you in spirit and truth. So thank you for allowing us for the privilege to worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And we want more of you. We want fire. We want the Holy Spirit fire. We want that unquenchable fire, Lord. You lead. You lead and we will follow. You lead and we will follow. Whatever you want us to go, whatever you want us to do, we are your bond servants. Everything is for your glory. Everything is you praise your name. 
We bless you, holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Father, you, Father. Father God, we just say this morning, Lord, that you are the God of Israel. And Father God, as we stand before you this morning, Lord, as we stand here in our freedom this morning, Lord, we pray for Israel this morning, oh God. We pray, Father God, that you would just begin to surround Israel, Father God, with your mighty worn angels right now, Father God. Lord, that you would begin to raise up an army this morning, Father God. And we pray for each and every one, Father God, this morning, Father God. We pray for peace over Israel this morning, oh God. And that the, the attacks of the enemy would be stopped in the name of Jesus, Father God. We say this morning that we stand with Israel this morning, oh God. That we stand with the first people, Father God, this morning. Right now, Father God, we rise up in the mighty name of Jesus and we send prayers right now, Father God. Right now, we send our prayers this morning that we are standing with Israel this morning, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that, there, that your judgment is coming, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you for your hand of protection, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are our strong tower. That you go before us and you come behind us, oh God. And we thank you this morning. We thank you, Lord, as we stand in freedom this morning for our brothers and our sisters this morning, oh God. We thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you, Yeshua. We thank you, Yahweh. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory this morning. As our hearts cry out this morning, God, let your will be done. Whatever is loose in heaven will be loose on earth. Whatever is bound on earth will be bound in heaven. So we say, let your will be done this morning, oh God. Let your will be done this morning, oh God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Lord, your name is holy. Your name is so holy, Lord, we don't even deserve to be able to say it, Lord. But you have given us grace, Lord. You have given us the opportunity, Lord. So we praise your name, Yahweh. We praise your name, Elohim. We praise your name, Adonai. We praise all the names that you go by, Lord. We praise you, Lord. And we give you the honor and glory, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. Give us the ability, Lord, to, to send up our prayers, Lord. And you hear our prayers. You hear our cries, Lord. And you deliver us. You deliver your people, Lord, from the enemy, Lord. You're delivering Israel from its enemy, Lord. And you will continue to deliver your people, Lord, as they cry out to you, Lord. Not to any man, not to any country, Lord, but as they cry out to you, Lord, you deliver them, Lord. You are always the victor, Lord. And we walk in victory, Lord, because we walk in your name. Amen. Good morning, Father God. You are Lord Sabaoth. And I ask you to send mighty warring angels 
to inert every bomb, missile, drone, fry, fry their circuitry, Father. They can't even launch. We ask you to send warring, ministering angels, tech angels, to go and fry every circuitry, every drone. You bird of prey, you fall to the ground in Jesus' name. We command you, you cannot even fly. Every missile, you don't work. You can't work. You cannot come against God's people. You cannot come against God's children. Reverse. Reverse. Thank you, Father God, for the rising church in Iran that backs and prays for Israel. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. No weapon formed against Israel shall prosper. No weapon formed against Israel shall prosper. In Jesus' name. And his word is written. And we say, let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. We want your will. Your will, Father Yahweh. Your will to be manifested. Your will to be manifested, Lord. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you because everything that you say will be manifested in our lives and those that surrender to you. Surrender to the will of the Father. He wants our obedience. Surrender to His will. His word says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue, everyone that comes against His children will be defeated. Surrender to the will of God. Surrender to His will. And we will see mighty power. And we will enjoy a complete freedom. Surrender to His will. And He will do mighty work to every single one of us. Surrender to His will because His will is perfect. It is not about us. It is not about what we think. It's not about what we think is the right way. It is His way. His way is perfect. His word is perfect. There is no darkness in Him. Darkness is created when we are away from Him. You are the light. Victory belongs to you, Father God. And let your will be done. Let your will be done. Your will. Your will, Father Yahweh. Your will. In Jesus' name. And we give you all the glory. Your way, Yahweh. Your way, Yahweh. We say, Your way, Yahweh. 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 Your way, Yahweh.
Yahweh, we want to be led by you. Father, we don't need a man to lead us. We want you to lead us. Where you say to go, we will go. Where you lead, we will follow. Holy Ghost, take us to that place of intimacy and encounter with you. We won't settle for nothing less. We won't settle for the status quo. We won't settle for what the church wants to do. We want to do what you want to do. As we come together as the church in corporate worship, we want to worship you how you want. Where you lead, we will follow. Let that be our declaration, your way, Yahweh. Yahweh, we just want to stay sensitive to that direction, the orders, the steps that you have ordered for us. We don't want to step out of sync. We don't want to be misaligned. We want to stay in the formation of heaven. We want to walk in unity. We want to be in one accord. If it was so important for Jesus to pray for the unity of the body, that's what we want to focus on. And the only way that we can walk in oneness, being from many races, many cultures, many denominations, the only way we can walk in unity is your way. Where we lay down our preconceived ideas. We lay down our agendas. And we say, where you lead, we will follow. I refuse to follow anything but you. Teach us. Holy Spirit, teach us how to be sensitive. Teach us how to discern your movements, your words, your breath, the essence of who you are. Ruach HaKadosh. Let your wind blow through this place. Let that fiery wind blow through this place. We say blow on us today. Let your Ruach blow through this place today. You told us that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And long ago, you went into an upper room. And there was people that were praying in one accord and waiting on the falling of the Holy Ghost. And we are people that are waiting for that presence. As we are coming together in corporate worship, as we're assembling, and you said not to forsaken the assembly, not to abandon it, and yet here we are together, knowing that in other countries, they can't come like this. We come together wanting nothing less than your presence. That's what we want today. We came in one way, but I declare and decree by the power of the Holy Spirit that we will leave out of here transformed, minds renewed, strongholds broken, walking in the freedom of who God called us to be in this season. Your way, Yahweh.
Let me just begin to hear the heartbeat of the drum. I see the lion. The lion is arising in this time. And he says, why, oh people, do you fear? Why, oh people, do you hold anxiety within your heart? If you know that the lion is roaring and he's coming back and he's coming back with fire. So we say, lion of the tribe of Judah, come forth, come forth, lion of the tribe of Judah, and let's hear the the rhythm of mine of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the line of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the line of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the line of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the line of the tribe of Judah. He's doing a new thing, so we're singing a new song. He's doing a new thing, so we're singing a new song. He's doing a new thing, so we're singing a new song. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's doing a new thing, so we're singing a new song. He's doing a new thing, so we're singing a new song. He's doing a new thing, so we're singing a new song. He's doing a new thing, so we're singing a new song. He's not a baby in a manger anymore. He's not a broken man on a cross. He didn't stay in the grave, and he's a singing in heaven forever. He's not a baby in a manger anymore. He's not a broken man on a cross. He didn't stay in the grave. And he's not staying in heaven forever. Cause he's alive. 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 People get ready. Jesus is coming. I can hear the rhythm of the line of the tribe of Judah. Here he comes. I can hear the rhythm of the line of the tribe of Judah. Here he comes. I can hear the rhythm of the line of the tribe of Judah. Are you ready? I can hear the rhythm of the line of 
the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Running around with the fingers in their ears, singing da 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 da. I don't want to hear the sound of the coming king. Yes, there are people running around with the fingers in their ears, singing da 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 da. I don't want to hear the sound of the coming king. Yes, but he says, I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting for a church without spot. Without we go, yes, cause I'm coming back, I'm coming back, I'm coming back, yes. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Come on, it's time for Judah to rise up. Come on, just sing it out. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the rhythm of the lion of the tribe of Judah. I can hear the Jesus is coming. People get ready. Jesus is coming. People get ready. Jesus is coming. Cause he's alive. 
He's alive, 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 he's alive. People get ready. Jesus is coming. People get ready.
But I also hear the sound of victory. Victory! Seven, seven. 
because there's a remnant. 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 And Lord, we say that the remnant is in the house today. And if you are a part of that remnant, I'm calling you out of your seat today. I'm calling you out of your seat today. Go to war, so we're taking up our swords. We're fighting with the word. The battle is the Lord. It's time to use your voice as a weapon of choice. Praise is the key. It defeats the enemy. It's time to go to war. So we're picking up our swords. We're fighting with the word. The battle is the Lord. It's time to use your voice as a weapon of choice. Praise is the key. It defeats the enemy. It's time to go to war. Picking up our sword, fighting with the word. The battle is the Lord. It's time to use your voice as your weapon of choice. Praise is the king. It defeats the enemy. It's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. This is the war commission. It's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. This is the war commission. It's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. This is the war commission. It's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. This is the war commission. Here's my prayer that those that would come against Israel are coming against you and you deal with them. Yes. That's your love. Yes. You've warned them, you've given them grace, you've extended your love, yes. but they are walking in a reprobate mind. Yes. And Lord, you deal with those yes. who are coming against the children yes. of Israel. Yes. Make them your footstool. Yes. So as Prophet Karina sang that, hearing the sound of war, 
Here's what the Lord said to me. He's hearing those that are not willing to align with his will. That's what's warring in the spirit. His mercy and grace is extended. But there are some that are continuing to war against his gift of love. But then there's those that are saying to him, Father, your way is the only way. That is the sound of victory yes, yes. in the heavens. Yes, yes. The Bible says that when one comes to the Lord, thousands of angels rejoice. Yes. That is the sound of victory. Yes. When his bride begins to align in right standing with him, that is the sound of victory. And we, was, we must war for those that are on the outside that God has called and has chosen. We must, we must war for them so that the sound of saved souls can resonate in heaven. I hear the sound of war. I hear the sound of war. God is calling his people to himself. It says it in Ephesians chapter 5. Christ is calling the bride to himself. Victory is when the bride just surrenders to his will. Victory was obtained by Christ on the cross for us to come in now and enjoy that victory. No spirit, but the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, 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 no spirit, but the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, 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 come. No spirit, but the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, 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 come. the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, 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 no spirit, 
but the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, 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 come. No spirit, but the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, come, come. No spirit, but the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, 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 come. We say, come, Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, 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 come. No spirit, but the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit, come, 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 come. Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Spirit of counsel, spirit of might, spirit of knowledge. We need the fear of the Lord. We want the fear of the Lord. We need the fear of the Lord. We want the fear of the Lord. Give us the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Spirit of counsel. Spirit of might, spirit of knowledge, we need the fear of the Lord. We want the fear of the Lord. We need the fear of the Lord. We want the fear of the Lord. Give us the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, spirit of counsel, spirit of might, spirit of knowledge. We need the fear of the Lord. We want the fear of the Lord. We need the fear of the Lord. We want the fear of the Lord. Give us the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Oh, we want the fear of you, God. The fear of you and not of man, yeah. We want the fear of you and you alone. Oh, yeah. Man has not revealed this to me. Man has not revealed this to me. It's your spirit. Only by your spirit. your spirit, only by your spirit. Man has not revealed this to me. Man has not revealed this to me. It's your spirit, only by your spirit. Man has not revealed this to me. Man has not revealed this to me. It's your spirit, only by your spirit. To me, man has not revealed this to me. It's your spirit, only by your spirit.
your spirit. It's only by your spirit. It's only by your spirit. I can see you. I can love you. It's only by your spirit. It's only by your spirit. I can see you. I can hear you. I can feel you, Lord. It's only by your spirit. It's only by your spirit. It's only by your spirit. I can hear you. I can feel you. It's only by your spirit. It's only by your spirit. It's only by your spirit. I can see you. I can see you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can feel you. I can feel you, Jesus.
Would you seal this with a passion for your glory, God? Oh, yeah. Would you mark us? Would you seal us with a passion for your glory, God? you seal us with a passion for your glory, God? Would you mark us? Would you seal us with a passion for your glory, God? Would you mark us? Would you seal us with a passion for your glory, God? Would you mark us? Would you seal us with the passion for your glory, God? For your glory, Shorted a high. 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 For I say I am pouring out my spirit on all flesh. I'm calling my sons and daughters to come to that place of consecration with me. For I have come for such a time as this to draw you into my presence. Come, come, come. Judah 
Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Let the light roll, 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 Let the light roll, 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 let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, 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 Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion of Judah. Let the lion roar, hail, hail, lion
Regina Hell, hell, lying in Tuna 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 Hell, hell, lying in Tuna
Come on, when miracles, signs, and wonders begin to happen in the old tent revivals, I don't know if you've ever gone back and studied the old revivalist, but that is something that me and Apostle have been doing lately, is going back to the foundation, not of what is now, of what the church has gone to, dry and dead, but we're going back to the revivalist when true signs, miracles, and wonders begin to happen. And it only began to happen when they got in one accord and they begin to decree and they begin to declare what the word of the Lord says. Not what we are saying, not what we are speaking, but what the word of God says. And when we call on the Lord, he loves us so much that he hears us and he comes. So when we are saying, let your wind blow, let your fire fall, we are asking his presence to fall down on us in this place. Because I don't know about you, but I want to see and I want to experience his fire fall on us today. need a true touch from you, oh God. We need your power. We need your fire, God. We need your fire, oh God. We repent. We repent of our wicked ways. We repent, oh God. We repent. We repent of unforgiveness. We repent. And being unselfish, God. Being selfish, oh God. We repent, God, when we think that this life is about us, God. We need you like never before, God. We need your fire, oh God, to purify us, to cleanse us, oh God. Oh, renew our minds, renew our hearts, renew our spirit, oh God. We say come, we say come with your fire, with your fire, with your fire, oh God. We say come with your fire, we say come with your fire, oh God, and burn us up, purify us, oh God, we just want to burn for you, Jesus, we say cleanse us, purify us, God, because we repent, we repent, oh God. I don't know, but if that's you this morning, I, I just sense for you to come up front. Come on, the word of God says to begin to decree and declare that I'm single-minded in the pursuit of you, oh God. That we want to come out from being double-minded. That we want to know that we know that we know who we are in Him and who He is in us. Come on, we need to begin to ask Him to renew our minds, renew our hearts, renew our spirits to the ways of the Father. We need to get back to that place in our lives. We've gone so long on being dry and trying to do things our way. But the Lord is here to say this morning, that's not going to work in these times, in this time and in this hour. See, our God is such a gentleman. He's not going to force himself upon you. He just simply wants you to just surrender to him this morning. You have to open your heart this morning and be willing for him to do anything within you. That is something I ask 
every single day in my morning time and in my night time and in my, my in-between time that I spend, I spend more time with the Father than I do my own husband because that's how much I love him. That's how much I desire him. That's how much I adore him and that I want him. We've got to get back to that place. We've got to get back to that place where we're hungry and we're thirsty for the Lord and not for the things of this world. The Word of God says that we are to set ourselves apart from this world, even though we live in it. We don't have to act like it. We don't have to smell like it. But if you want to be set apart this morning, I want you to come up to the front. If you're tired of being tired, if you're sick of being sick, now is the time to come into the river and begin to receive it this morning. Come on, the fire's here this morning. You just have to want it. You have to be open for it this morning. Come on. Listen, if that's you, just make your way up. You don't need somebody to lay hands on you. The Holy Ghost is here. And I, I want ushers to get behind these that are up here. Come on, Terrence, move in there. Andre, move in there. Come on. Because there's, this, there's nothing like a divine touch from the Holy Ghost himself. I know sometimes we get familiar with a man or a woman praying for us, laying hands on us. But listen, we said let the fire fall, let the wind blow. And we've got to get to that place of just surrendering. Listen, that's called sanctification. That means that you begin to get a, a passion for the things of God and God alone. Come on. Holy Ghost, do it. Let the fire fall, let the wind blow. Let the fire fall, let the wind blow. I told y'all, pay attention, please. Come on, let the fire fall, let the wind blow. Come on, worship team. Come on, help me. Come on. Come on. Let your fire blow. Let the wind blow. Let your fire blow. Let the wind blow. Let your fire blow. Let the wind blow. Let your fire blow. Let your wind blow. Come on and let you just surrender. Let your fire blow.
can't contain it, I can't control. Set a fire down in my soul. I can't contain it, I can't control. Set a fire down in my soul. I can't contain it, I can't control. Set a fire down in my soul. I can't contain it, I can't control. Set a fire down in Set my soul. say this God is calling us to a place of sanctification a place of total surrender a place of you're saying God your will be done whatever it takes your will be done I don't want to be listen I'm going to tell you I don't want to be passionate for nothing but Jesus no y'all didn't get that God is calling us to that place of being passionate for the things of God. Whatever the Bible says, be passionate about being in the Word. Be passionate about wanting the characteristics of God. Whatever that takes. That's what God is calling us to, Tick. That's what God is calling us to, calling us to Tick Tribe. And listen, he, he, yes, he's calling us individually, but I sense in my spirit he's calling us to a place of being corporately passionate about him. I hear so many people, they want revival, but they don't want to be sanctified for revival. They want to see a mighty move of God, but they're not willing to be passionate for the things of God. Whatever God hates, I hate. Whatever he loves, I love. That's the place God is drawing those. As I said earlier, and Prophet Karina and even Minister Joancy and Pastora said it. Listen, that's the place God is wanting us to be that bride. And to be that bride, it's going to be a continuous process of sanctification, of surrendering to Him. We've been justified, but now comes sanctification. And then will come glorification. But God is saying, will you come? Will you come to me and let me create a bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle? There is no cleaners in the world that can do that, but God can. 
God can. God can clean you up. God can start you up. God can make you look presentable for the bride. Thank you, son, for coming up. God is doing it. And he's doing it for those that are willing to say yes. Those that are willing to say yes, no matter the cost. Those that are willing to say yes, God is doing the work that he desires. And we say it time and time again, all it takes is a yes. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Carl, it's not that hard, son. It's just saying yes. What does that look like? I don't know. I know what it looks like for me. What does it look like for you? What does your yes look like? I know one word. And that's surrender. That's sanctification. God, purify the impact center. Purify all these sons and daughters. God, you want to take them from Christian to disciple? From disciple to friends to sonship. God, let them surrender. Not for me, not for my sake, but for their sake in relationship with you. Let them just say yes, God. Let him just say yes. Let him just say yes. Let him get beyond that place of processing. What what is it going to cost me? Whatever it costs. Let him not try to calculate and, and do all the math and do the... Whatever it costs. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, Father God. Like Prophet Karina read in Micah, let us be that remnant. Let us be that remnant that says yes, that we surrender, sanctify us, purify us. We just say yes. Let us be that remnant that just say yes. Holy Ghost. I ask you to bring conviction into this place. Bring conviction. Let us get to that place. That we get convicted, not when we're in here, but when we're everywhere else that we are in our daily walk. It's, it's so easy to get convicted in this place. But I want to be convicted and I want all these sons and daughters to be convicted when they walk outside their door, this door. When they're at work, conviction. When they're at home, conviction. When they're driving, conviction. When they're eating, conviction. When they're paying their bills, conviction. And upon that conviction, you train us. Train us not to go back to that place to be reconvicted over the same thing. But that once conviction come, that's it. That's one. It's done. It's over. And now we're walking in the pureness of what you desire. I don't want to ever be the way I used to be. I want to look forward to the mark of the high calling. I want to look onto Jesus. I want to look at the prize and be focused on the prize. I want to be focused on Yeshua HaMashiach. On the risen Savior. The anointing one. The Messiah. We thank you Holy Ghost. For what you've done here today. And we seal it. By one name. By the name that's above every name. By the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. By the risen Savior, the risen King, the Lord, and He 
his name is Jesus. 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 Emmanuel, God with us. Were y'all blessed today? I said, were y'all blessed today? Listen, I know some of you are like, well, you're not going to preach? No, go back and watch the video. You've been preached to. If I can have all our young people make their way up. And remember, if you want to watch me preach, there's plenty of YouTube videos that you can go back and watch. There's nothing like the Holy Ghost preaching to you. Come on. Pastor Rosa, I got saved five times this morning. Come on. Come on, come on. Listen, y'all make room for all these kids to come up. That, that just shows. Listen, what I want y'all to grasp is that the fact that all these kids. Look, y'all can slide up. I'm, I scooted back so y'all don't catch all the spit. We need to get the revelation that when you see all these children, it's because there's a destiny for the Impact Center. Because we're training up a child. Amen? Listen, when your children go to class, they're not in a daycare. They're in a training center. Crystal, bring your son up here, too. <laughs> uh, I know y'all think they're, oh, look, they're, they're watching Veggie Tales and they're just playing. No, they're being trained. They're being equipped for what they've been called to do. Amen? So listen, I just encourage y'all, stretch your hands to the generation of now. Not the next generation, the generation of now. So, Father God, we just thank you for the fire that's on these young people. Lord, and I pray that when they go back and they go sit with their, with their parents or with their relatives or whoever they go back, that the older ones can sense the fire of God on these young people. I say that they will get a hunger for reading the word. And after they read it, they'll learn how to apply the word. That they'll become who you've called them to be. Lord, train us to be able to train them for the work of the ministry. Lord, that we see that we're able to discern the gifts and the anointing and the callings on their lives so that we can train them to fulfill their assignment in Christ Jesus. So I thank you for their lives. Lord, and I declare that there's a divine hedge of protection. I'm saying a blood dome around every young one. Every time they go to school, everywhere that they go, Lord, that there be a divine warring angel that will protect them from all harm and from all danger, from the assignments of the devil. In Jesus' name we pray. And if the body agrees, you say amen, amen and amen. Listen, if you're a graduating teenager, I want you to just sit right here on the platform, that platform down there. What? Thank you very much, sir. Read the book. Come on. Hey, we're not done yet. Y'all can visit later. Shoot yourself a text. Remind yourself to talk to the person you were talking to. Let's keep moving forward. If I can have Minister Alexander and Minister Crystal make your way here. Listen, your kids were so fired up, they're ready to go to class. Boy, if we can get some adults to have that kind of passion. Whoop. Let me behave, let me behave. Come on, y'all excited about these guys graduating? I am so excited to see them move into their next season, the next level, the next dimension that God has for them. Listen, can I, can I go ahead and pray?
that way when y'all come up here, it's it, I'm done. Well, whatever, you know. Thank you, thank you. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all that even though you're graduating, it doesn't get easier after this. Can I get some witnesses? The fact is that now there comes a time where you got to get a job and move out. I know some mamas are like, don't say that. That's my baby. Let your baby grow up. It's time for you now to begin to walk out what God's called you to do. Mom and dad have poured into you. But now it's your time to now grab it for yourself and run with it. So here's what I'm declaring and decreeing. Father God, that as they have graduated and they've done their time in school, and some of them may go to college, I don't know, that's their business, that's between you and them. But Lord, what I say that they'll decree, I decree that they will seek you for the next steps of their life. For this next season that they're walking into. Lord, that you'll direct. You have specific direction. That you have ordered their steps. And Lord, the only way mama can't give them those steps. Daddy can't give them those steps. Grandma, grandpa. Listen, even I can't give them those steps. They have to get a hunger to seek you for the order that you have said that they would step into. Lord, we're just here to guide them. But, Lord, the ultimate decision is them surrendering to you. So, Lord, I say that from this day forward, they have been good at home and mom and dad's protection. But now is the time and now is the season that they begin to walk out what you have chosen for them, Lord. Their parents have trained them the best that they could. But now it's up to them. Lord, you've given them the free will, the control to dictate how they finish their race. Lord, as they seek after you, then their race will be in order. The minute they step away, there's a disorder, there's a disconnection that happens between you and them. Lord, cause them to stay humble and submit it to you, that they walk in the wise counsel of your words. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, if you have your Bible, no, I'm just kidding. Hey, the Bible says that children are an inheritance from the Lord, exactly. And also that children are like arrows in the hand of a mighty man, that when they are shot, they strike their target. Like Apostle said, some of y'all babies ain't babies no more. Some of them already, already got jobs. Some of them are, some of y'all paying rent. Y'all ain't paying no bills. They ain't paying no bills yet, but they will. So we want to take today to recognize those that are graduating from middle school and high school, because that's what, next month, right? Before the summertime comes, you got to do something with them, because they ain't going to school all day. So if I could have my graduating middle schoolers, which are Miss Alyssa and Mr. Javier, stand up, please. And Miss May, if you want to come on, come on down here, Miss May. Come on. And Mr. Tranquil. Look, some of y'all parents are like, what you getting dressed up for today? I ain't never seen you look this good. Look at him. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so parents, we want to say, Minister Chris and I, thank you for trusting us with your youth. Because when y'all are on your date nights, hopefully on Impact Youth Nights, which is the third Friday of the month, and on His Girls, which is the third Saturday of the month, and on, and on Gents, which is the fourth Saturday of the month, hopefully y'all are using this time to rekindle a little something, a little something. <laughs> but what, what they get when they're with us is not only a meal for their bellies, we try and help y'all out. We know they can eat. We know. But we are also equipping them in the word so that they make a transition successfully into adulthood. So that when they're, when they're grown, you don't get no phone calls 1 o'clock in the morning saying, Mama, Dada, I'm wherever. Nah. We, nah. So, thank you, parents. Again, Impact Youth Nights on the third Friday of the month from 6 to 8 o'clock. Bring your children. We'll feed them. Parents, y'all go on a date.
Okay? All right. So, if y'all want to hit that song real quick. And this is Tick, so we ain't going to wait for, your, for everybody's name to be called before y'all cheer. When we say the first name, make it loud. Make them feel loved. Be <clears throat> ghetto, if you will. Undignified. For our youths graduating. So first off, Mr. Javier Tovez. <laughs> and we have Miss Alyssa. And Miss May, congratulations. <laughs> Last but not least, the tallest but not the shortest, Tranquil. <laughs> All right, high school graduates, stand on up. We have. Mr. Jalen. <laughs> Miss Shyla. And pause for effect. Miss Destiny. And make some noise for Miss Narissa, who is not here with us today. Miss Narissa! Graduates, congratulations on the next step in your educational lives for our middle schoolers and to into your adult lives for our high schoolers. Now, what will happen is... Is... Yeah. All right, come on, make, make it... Come, everybody, come take your stroll across the platform. Right here, start with Travis, yeah? Take your stroll while the music is on. Come on, y'all. Yeah! Congratulations, we love you all. So parents of all youth, we will be having a youth only celebration of the graduates for about an hour, hour and a half-ish. So parents, you got, a, you got a real quick lunch date while we feed your kids we, and we have a good time and do what the youth do. Also, Hit me one more time. We're going to have the senior leadership come up and bless the youth. <laughs> We're going to have the senior leadership come up and bless our youth. Amen. And as we close it off, you know what? What a better time for us to sow our ties and our offerings into the Impact Center. Yeah. This is good soil. Look what God is doing in the lives, not only naturally, but spiritually. Yes. And how many of y'all, when you say yes to God, he spiritually promotes you into that next season that God has for you. Yes. Amen. Yes. So go ahead, Prophet Corinne. Well, I, wanna, I want them to come right here. Uh, y'all move again. So this is, they're going to do a lot of walking. Yes. That's right, that's right. So I just want to speak that the Lord would bring understanding. And, and as uh, Minister Crystal talked to us this morning and she told us about um, us speaking to them, I just, I really kept hearing understanding. And so, Lord, I just want to speak understanding your revelation light. 
That's what understanding is. It's his revelation light. And Lord, just as you did for me in my life at that age, you opened my eyes to your truth, Father God. And I have not walked away and I never will walk away. And I speak that over them. Revelation light, enter and pierce their heart in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So extend your hand and say, we bless you. We bless you. We love you. And enjoy some grub. Amen? All right. Okay, a couple things, and then y'all can go on and get. Um, um, Lainey is, she's doing a fundraiser. So if you want to get some of that food, just get with Lainey. I don't know all the instructions. Don't come see me. It's none of my business. That's her. So go see her. She's going to Malaysia, I think, is where she's going. So if you want to get, uh, is it Cuban food? Comida Cubana. That's Cuban food for you American folks. Go see her um, and know that we love you guys. Come Wednesday. Uh, remember that this weekend, starting on Friday, starts 39 Tribal uh, Unity Gathering. So come and support that. This is, this is a historical time. So you want to get in there and be in there with your prayers, and I encourage you to be a part. And ask Pastora, if you've sensed to serve, please go see her. She will put you somewhere to work, I promise you. I can, you have something? Oh, and you can register on our website as well if you haven't registered. And if you need a hotel, go get one. So praise the Lord. We love you. Don't forget, stand to your feet. Let me go ahead and release you with... The prayer that God has placed in my heart to continue to pray over each of you. The Lord bless you and watch you, guard you, and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon and enlighten you and be gracious kind, merciful, and giving favor to you. The Lord lift up his approving countenance upon you and give you peace, tranquility of heart, and life continuously in Jesus' name. And if you agree, say amen Amen and amen. Remember, so give somebody a hug. Let them know how blessed you were today and have a blessed week.